Archimedes. Born in Sicily, Archimedes is well known for his theory of hydrostatics, but very few know that he was a pioneer in mathematics, especially in geometry. He is credited with having found the actual value of pi as well. He is also one of the trailblazers in teaching calculus. Though he lived long, very little is known about his life. Perhaps one of the far-reaching inventions he made was a water screw, which is probably being used in the Navy to make sure ships don't leak even today. He designed it for King Huron II, who wanted a luxury ship to be built that could not only be used for cruises, but also for battle. Today, the same principle is used for irrigation in Egypt. He is known for building the claw of Archimedes, which was a crane-like structure used to claw away ships of enemies during war. Another wartime invention is the heat ray, which used mirrors to create heat from the sun and allow enemy ships to catch fire. It was tested later and proven to be effective. Archimedes' love of knowledge did not stop at mathematics. He ventured into astronomy as well. He is credited to have created Antikythera, a model which was a miniature planetarium consisting of the Earth, Moon and Sun and five planets known during his time. The term Eureka, of course, is associated with Archimedes, and in fact, an interesting story goes behind the coining of this word. King Huron II had a crown made and wanted to check on the maker's honesty on the content of gold and silver. He entrusted the job to Archimedes, who thought about it and hit upon the solution while in the bathtub. He realized that the amount of water that is displaced was equal to the weight of the body that is immersed in the water. He shouted Eureka and is said to have run down the streets naked. They tried to capture him, and during the siege, he died. His last work was on circles, as apparently he said, don't disturb my circles. Even before Newton and others, Archimedes discovered calculus. His palimpsest threw light on the knowledge of mechanical theorems. Suffice it to say, Archimedes was perhaps one of the greatest geniuses who ever walked the face of the earth, and God alone knows what other discoveries he might have made if he hadn't died in the siege that day.